Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gundam Converge series number 11. So this is a very Gundam Wing heavy series. If you're a fan of Gundam Wing, there's a lot for you to like in here. It's got the Wing Gundam Zero EW, the Ultron Gundam EW, as well as the Mercurius and the V8, all from Gundam Wing. And then it's also got the Gun Tank in there and the Dovin Wolf in there for good measure. More UC stuff for you. So as we usual, this is just a box of 10. You can buy these individually, I think through different sources, but I usually just buy a whole box. You will get doubles of the sum of them, which I usually end up giving away to uh, my Patreon patrons, or if, if it's something that I want to repaint or something like that, I will, I will keep it for myself. But do all always end up with having doubles with some of these, and as it just comes, it just comes in a box like this, because the box is meant to be for like a shop display. Let's go ahead and pop this open, and we should have one of the Mercurius and V8 and two of everything else. So let's just have a look. And yep, because the Mercurius and the V8 are basically the same kit, just a little bit different in there, that means that we're just going to get one of each of those. So what I want to do with the Dovin Wolf, as I said in the Gunplay Delivery video, is maybe repaint one of them into the uh, unicorn color version. It's like a light blue kind of color version instead. It won't have the sleeves markings on there. I could maybe try to make those. I don't know. Uh, at least it'll just be repainted. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty cool set. Uh, it would be nice to get some more wing ones because I've got a handful of the uh, wing mobile suits in Converge from already. So... So we'll take a look at this one first, and we'll just go in numerical order. I also have the Wing Zero, and like the regular Wing Zero, like the TV version, and also have the Wing uh, Gundam Verka in Converge form. I think it's not called Verka in Converge form. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Uh, but just the other one that's kind of similar to this, but it's the Verka, like the Master Grade Verka. Anyway, so this would be a cool addition to those. I don't have the original Wing Gundam. Uh, I don't know if I really ever will bother owning that. That's kind of my least favorite version. Yeah, the original like regular wing Gundam but here on the back we can just see the other kits in the line and then just more information about that and let's just get it popped open as usual it's going to include uh, some Bandai chewing gum in here can't forget about that very very not delicious if you've never tried it and if you ever get a chance to try it try it but don't expect the flavor to last longer than three or four seconds maybe then here we can see we got the Gundam the V-Fin the wings there and then the base let me get this built up here hang on there you go, there's how it's gonna look. You can see if you catch the light just right, it shines pretty nicely off the eyes and the little green circle there on the front of the chest there looks pretty nice. One thing that I did also forget is that I did also get the Epion recently as well, which is obviously not in the line of like the wing and the wings here and all of that, but it should look really nice paired up next to the Epion. So you do have an option here too, if you wanna just hold one of the bust rifles or if you wanna hold both, you just swap out the hand there. They unfortunately don't connect together in any way, but if you want to have it holding just one or two, you do have that option. The wings also, you could maybe like rotate a little bit forward or back, but they really aren't going to do a whole lot. They're kind of just in this neutral position there at the back. But the wings do look really nice. You can see how nice those are going to look. But if you go in and do some panel lining on there, uh, fill in some of the details, that should look really, really cool. I think this one is going to look really nice when it's all decaled. Um, I'm sorry, detailed and detailed, uh, decaled, <laughs> if I could talk. Add a couple of decals on there as well onto the wings. That should look really cool. So I really like that one a lot. Next up is the Ultron Gundam EW. Now it would be cool if this like had some gimmick that the actual like uh, dragon heads on there could like actually be posed in some sort of flying position. But of course it's pretty much just going to be standing there like that. But it's cool. It does have the beam trident there. The double beam trident. I guess I should say if that's what it's correctly called. I'm not sure. Of course we've got our gum. And then in here, it looks uh, pretty similar. Basically, you've got the Gundam there, the V-Fan, and then all the different uh, accessory parts there, and then the base. So let me get this put together. All right, and there he is. Very cool. I was worried about how this was going to work with the big dragon head on the back of the arm, if that was going to get in the way of holding the uh, trident, but it doesn't. The trident kind of fits through there between the body, and that just really fantastic detail overall with all of these. The, the detail looks amazing, even without any panel lining on there. Once you go in and do the panel lining, and adding in some of the details and decals and all that. These look just so good. This looks really cool. If you're a big fan of Wing, then I mean, just adding these to the collection is a, is a must. I mean, these look really, really great. Personally, this is by far my favorite variation of the Nataku or Ultron, and I really like this one quite a bit. Up next is this little cutie patootie. It's the gun tank. Now, I'm not really too big of a fan of the gun tank uh, or the gun cannon either, but the converged gun cannon actually surprised me how much I ended up liking that one. So I could be surprised with this one as well. The gun tank, though, is just so derpy. <laughs> but hey, I know some people like it. 
we got our gum here and some parts here. I will need to use uh, some nippers for this. So we've got like the main body there and then these bits here for the head are on those little kind of runners. So you have to cut those off. And then a couple of uh, the cannons there for the backpack. And let me get this put together. Oh, phew, I don't know. I was really trying to give this guy a chance, but even in converged form, I'm just really not digging the gun tank, really, to be honest. It's cool, like, the clear part there for the head does look really nice, and overall, I mean, it's really cute. If you're a fan of the gun tank, then this probably looks really cool to you, and it's quite nice. The thing about the base, though, is they didn't give you any peg for plugging this onto the base, so it can just kind of, like, just sit on there, but it doesn't really have anything keeping it in place. So I wonder why they didn't just make a peg. I mean, obviously, it doesn't have feet, per se, but just make a little hole there to plug onto the base just like the other ones, but for some reason they didn't do that. It's kind of weird. But there you go, there's the converged gun tank anyway. Up next, the Dovin Wolf. This is probably the one that I'm looking forward to the most out of this set, aside from the Mercurius and the V8, which I'm also quite looking forward to as well. The Dovin Wolf is such a cool design, and this will look really good next to the Silver Bullet as well, so I'm quite looking forward to getting this guy up on the shelf. So there you go on the backs, so just same kind of thing, information about the Dovin Wolf, and then let's get this popped open, eh? Open up, 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 up and gum 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 this one also has a couple parts there on a little runner because it's got some really fine little antennas there so you got like the main body uh, one of the antennas and then those antennas and then the main gun and our base plate all right here you go wolfie baby looking very cool with the little mono eye there poking out between the red part there for the face really awesome and all the little bits of color detail on this uh it's really cool. like this a lot. Of course, these are, in case you were wondering if you're unfamiliar with Converge kits in general, they're slightly posable and that usually like you can rotate the arm or something, maybe something like that. And that's probably going to be about the extent of it. You can turn the head slightly. I found these binders on the back. One of them seems to turn this one like that, but I can't really get the other one to do it. It's kind of stuck, so I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to break it or anything. But yeah, so they're not really meant to be posable or anything. They're just kind of meant to be little statues. But man, this is really cool. I love the, just all the antennas there on the head too. Uh, it's kind of a signature feature of the Dovin Wolf and the just looks really, really cool. So there you go. And then up next, we got the V8. So here it is looking very cool as well, all in blue with that big backpack. And you have the option of slinging that big cannon up over the shoulder on its back or actually holding it in the hand. So that's pretty cool. It's always nice when you have options. You don't always have different options with these in terms of option parts or options for like the actual pose that you want to go with but on some of them you do and it's always nice so we've got the main mobile suit here and then the little antenna and then the weapons and the base so here he is if you want to have him just uh, storing the rifle there on the back uh, looks really cool i just love the, the shape of the head his little helmet there it's very blue so this one i would definitely say recommend uh painting in some of the details, like a little bit of details there for like the gray, for like the top joints at the top of the hips. Uh, panel lining, add a couple of decals on here would definitely help break up a lot of the blue on there. But the back also as well, just painting in like little bits of gold or yellow around there for the uh, energy generator. And yeah, you've got the weapon stored in the back, but let's take it off here and see how it's gonna look in hand. So there you go. Uh, the hose is not actually going to connect from the back of the gun into the backpack. You could modify that if you want. Just add your own like bit of wire detail uh, hosing for that. But it does look pretty cool. It's a quite large, the big cannon for that, of course. And it looks pretty nice. You have to actually like, plug that up underneath through the bottom of the hand. And then this uh, connects. So it's actually like two little parts for that. Definitely would say adding some little detail painting on this would look really nice. But it is a really super cool mold. And the last but certainly not least is the Mercurius. So, of course, it's got the little beam gun, the shield, and the whatever those are called, I don't forget. Those uh, little uh, defense things there. This one, I'm not sure if I remember if it has any sort of options in terms of the posing of it. Uh, if you can do anything with those there on the back. I don't think so. I think it's just kind of pretty fixed. But once again, we've got the body, the head crest, the shield, and beam gun there. Or the beam gun is where? Oh, over here with the base. So we've got all that. Let's get it put together. And there he is. I got to say, between the two, uh, I like them both. I mean, just in terms of their original design, I like them both pretty equally, but I definitely think in a converged form, I'm liking the look of the Mercurius a little bit more. It just looks really cool. Both of them are just really cool, but just something about it, I guess. Also, you'll notice that the little camera lens on the front of the face there is a different color on the V8. It's kind of pink and not really as noticeable, but on the Mercurius, it's uh, green, and it's much more noticeable, I think. It's much brighter of a color that stands out more on that, so I think that definitely kind of draws your eye a little bit more, makes it look really nice. But overall, again, details fantastic. Looks 
really good. So there you get. So there it is. Converge Series 11. Again, it's a very wing heavy set. So if you're not a big wing fan, then buying this as a set might not be very appealing for you. Uh, again, what I do recommend for you guys to do if you don't want to buy a whole box for yourself, if you do want some of these, a good recommendation is to just go in with a friend, just uh, with two or three, two or three friends, get together, share the cost, buy a box, and then share the figures. You'll have doubles of some of them, and some people will like some of the ones and others not. So it's always a good way to get these and share them. If you guys don't have any, I would definitely rec recommend picking up a couple sometime. They're great, and especially if you want to go in and do just a little bit of work on them, you can get even more enjoyment out of them. I think they're really fun to just go in and detail up a bit. They end up looking even more cool, even more nice, more detail, and all of that. Once you've gone in and added some more detail, and they're they're really fun. So that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully this was interesting. If you're interested to see some more about Series 11, we'll be back with Series 12 once that comes out. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>